Tiger Woods was uh, playing in an official PGA Tour event for the first time in 522 days today. It didn't go so well. Four over 76. Here's Tiger after his round. Joey kept telling me all day today, hey, just be patient with it. Uh, and I, I didn't quite you know, smile at him at a few of those times he said that. Um, uh, but I was I was fighting out there to try to get, get my ball around the golf course and, and score. And you know, I had it to one under par there through, through 11. Um, I was in good shape with a par 5 coming up that we knew the tees were up. Uh, if I could just get through 12 and maybe, you know, driving a fairway at, th at 13, we have a, an iron in there, and, you know, I could put together a pretty good round. And it went the other way. You know, I hit some bad tee shots and uh, made a bad three putt there at, at 13 and just you know, laid up from the rough into the rough. I mean, just I just kept compounding problems and mistakes out there. Okay, there's El Tigre. Let's take a look at that uh, scorecard. He uh, alluded to maybe um, some rhythm that was thrown out of whack in the back nine. Well, where did plays. it change in your opinion here? Bogey on one, eight straight pars, birdie, birdie, then five over in a four-hole stretch. Seems like something happened on 12. couple things. Now, people really don't want to know this, but pace of play is a problem in golf. People wonder, like, yes. well, why is it? U.S. rules officials, Slugger White, I once went to him at the Byron Nelson about six years ago, I was doing a story on it, and he's like, you want to know, Sonny? I said, yeah, that's why I asked him. Uh, <laughs> best rules officials, the nicest guys in the world. Oh. They said it's pace of play because there are too many guys on the court. Now, the South course has 76 players, or 78 players. You break it up, that means that 13 threesomes are teeing off on each side, which means that the first group catches up to the last group on the other side on the 12th hole. Oh! That means, and because the South course is really hard, the heart of the golf course, the more you're waiting, uh, he starts waiting on every shot. And he started messing up on different reasons. So the tee shot way right on 12, right after the birdie on 10 and 11. Then that bad chip shot there on 13. And then a, 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 oh, or a driver now on left, you saw how quick that was. He did not hit driver like that once all day. He was cat, cavalier in a way. So really is patience a problem where you just said, all right, look, it's going to be slow out here for the last six, seven holes, Scotty. I got I yeah. got to literally pace myself. Well, I mean, there was a, I mean, he alluded to Joey, which is Joe LaCava, his caddy, uh, post Steve Williams, where, and Brian Bell is a good buddy that held, held over in that short period of time. Mm -hmm. Said he needed to handle with patience. Joel Acabo was the caddy for Fred Couples for a long time. Freddie, you know, just chill. You know, very different styles, right? Uh, and so when you're a caddy, you're sort of a social chameleon. You need to tell guys different things. If you're a more uptight guy, Tiger, you got to be like, chill, we got to relax. If you're Freddie, be like, hey, Freddie, the, the plane leaves in five minutes. And uh, Tiger laughed at that because that's against his personality. I, I don't think it's just struggles. He looked tired. I think there was a fatigue issue. This is also a very difficult golf because it's one of the harder golf courses in the world. Yeah, it's tight. Torrey Pine South. Uh, and uh, he's also just not sharp tee to green. He's trying to, he over every swing, he is thinking about the fundamentals. You can't go 18 holes and stripe it. In fact, this is the worst ball striking round you can argue uh, ever in his career. Fewest fairways hit, and the best part of his game in his career has been greens and regulation. He had eight greens. So, it was a myriad combination of all of those three things, in my opinion, Dave. Uh, not a good day, at least not a good finish for Tiger. He's going to have to do some work tomorrow just to make the cut. Yeah, easier golf course, new greens. He hasn't seen them. That will be very interesting. His short game actually did help him. It should have been a worse score. We'll t show you why his short game was so helpful.